This is a review for the IQ Air Health Pro Plus. This unit is about 28 inches tall. It's actually one of the tallest air purifiers we've tested. It's about 15 inches wide and about 16 inches deep. This unit weighs about 35 pounds, and so it's definitely one of the heavier air purifiers we've tested as well. Now, this unit features three different filters. There's a pre-filter, a gas and odor filter, and also a HEPA filter, a particle filter. Uh, so three different filters. Uh, the air enters the air purifier through the bottom here uh, on both sides. Uh, there's a front arch and a back arch here. Uh, so the air enters through the bottom of the unit here. It goes through the pre-filter. It then travels up past the fan. Uh, the fan sits between the pre-filter and the gas and odor filter, which is the next filter up here. So the air travels through the bottom gaps here, up through the pre-filter, past the fan, past the gas and odor filter, past the particle filter, which is the HEPA filter, up and out through the diffuser up here. Uh, so the last filter's up here, the air goes past there, and then it travels on all sides here through this top diffuser. Uh, there's actually nothing above here. There's no way for the air to come out straight up top. Like a lot of other air purifiers in the market, the air comes out through the sides here uh, on this uh, top diffuser here. Now, the three filters that are there, again, there's a pre-filter. Uh, the filter here is called the pre-max filter, and this is a large particle pre-filter. So the intention here is that larger particles are going to run into that pre-filter on the bottom here, and they're gonna saturate that pre-filter instead of the filters that are up top here. Uh, next up is the gas and odor filter. The specific name here is the V5 cell. Uh, so the V5 cell sits up top here uh, above the fan, but below the particle filter. And that V5 cell contains about five pounds of activated carbon and alumina. And that combination of compounds is intended for gas filtration, unwanted gas and odor filtration. Finally, there is the particle filter that sits above the gas and odor filter. Uh, that is called a hyper HEPA filter. That is the specific name there that is given to that filter by the manufacturer is the hyper HEPA filter. Uh, and again, that sits on top of the gas and odor filter. And that is essentially a HEPA filter. Uh, visually, it is much thicker than most other HEPA filters on the market. There's a lot more filter media there uh, than most other air purifiers on the market have with their HEPA filters. However, it is still a HEPA filter. Despite the hyper HEPA moniker there, it is a HEPA filter. The manufacturer specified efficiency of that hyper HEPA filter is 99.97% for particles 0.3 microns and larger, and that is exactly the same efficiency as any other true HEPA filter on the market. So keep that in mind, despite the name Hyper HEPA, despite any other manufacturer claims that may come into play here, uh, that is essentially a true HEPA filter up there, and it is a true HEPA filter, much the same as many other HEPA filters on the market in terms of overall efficiency in capturing particles 0.3 microns and larger. Now on maximum fan speed, and this unit does have six fan speeds, one, two, three, four, five, six, that you select on the control panel there. On maximum fan speed of six, the unit does output at around 300 CFM. Um, so you do get a substantial output there on the maximum fan speed. Uh, the unit that we have on the table here today, the Health Pro Plus, uh, specifically, it retails for about $900 at most retail outlets. So what do we like about the Health Pro Plus, uh, this IQ Air model we have on the table here today? Uh, we definitely like its substantial output. Again, the output there is 300 CFM. That is a substantial amount of air that the unit is able to process every minute that goes by. 300 cubic feet of air is pulled into this unit, past all the filters, and these are thick, substantial filters. It's pulled in past those filters, up and out of the unit up top there. So 300 CFM is about 50 CFM more than what we see on top rated units that we recommend to most consumers. Uh, so you do get a little bit extra CFM here uh, with this IQ Air Health Pro Plus, And that is definitely a strong positive for the unit is that substantial output, uh, that substantial air processing power. We also like the high quality, substantial filters that are installed on this unit. Again, the pre-filter down here is going to take care of all of the larger particles. It's gonna be the first line of defense for the rest of the filters here. Uh, the gas and odor filter up top here contains five pounds of activated carbon and alumina. Uh, for comparison, most of their air purifiers on the market have one pound or less of activated carbon and only activated carbon. Uh, so the addition of activated alumina in here, the fact that this unit does have five times as much uh, gas filtration media in there 
than most other units on the market does allow this unit to be a much better air purifier for gas filtration than most other air purifiers on the market. With that four to five times more gas filtration media in there at a minimum uh, with this unit compared to most other air purifiers on the market, uh, the gas filtration media is going to be able to capture unwanted gases at a rate that is four to five times greater than most of the air purifiers on the market. So for any given quantity of air that moves through the unit that contains some concentration of unwanted gases, that concentration is going to be reduced by a factor of four to five at a minimum moving through this filter as compared to other activated carbon filters on the market. Uh, so definitely a strong positive there with that activated carbon and activated alumina filter uh, in the middle here. Finally, the Hyper HEPA filter that is up top here. Again, it is a true HEPA filter, just like every other true HEPA filter on the market. However, there is a lot of filter media there and that filter is going to take a lot longer to saturate than most other true HEPA filters on the market. So a strong positive there all around with all three filters here in terms of quality, in terms of quantity of filter media, uh, you're doing very well here with the IQ Air Health Pro Plus. Next, and this might surprise you uh, for something that is a positive for the unit, uh, but that is the unit's portability uh, is a positive for us. Uh, the unit does ship with four casters, uh, four wheels that you can install on the bottom of the unit. And so if you were to use this unit in a situation, in an application where you are moving it from room to room and all those rooms are on the same floor, uh, you don't even have to lift this unit up the ground. You can just push it along on those wheels. Uh, and so in that type of application, this unit is even more portable than lighter units where you actually need to pick those units up. Uh, so for portability, we give this unit strong marks uh, only because it comes with those caster wheels and for many applications where you don't need to necessarily pick it up and move it up a flight of stairs or something like that, in those applications, this unit can be quite portable uh, for those applications. The final positive that we want to discuss for this unit is the 10-year warranty that it comes with. Now, you do need to register your purchase with IQ Air uh, to receive that full 10-year warranty. However, that warranty is available and it is quite substantial. Uh, most other air purifiers in the market have a warranty that extends uh, to three years to five years at a maximum. Uh, so the 10-year warranty that comes with this unit is about double the next best warranty uh, length for other air purifiers on the market. So if warranty is important to you, if you want to be assured that your purchase is going to last a long time, and if it doesn't last a long time, that you can be covered by a true manufacturer's warranty, uh, the IQ Air provides that in spades here with that full 10-year warranty on the unit. So moving on to what we don't like about this IQ Air unit, first of all, we have to mention its price. This unit does retail for about $900. That is a substantial amount of money to spend on an air purifier. And regardless of whether that price can be justified or not, uh, we definitely don't like the fact that it is $900. We would like to see it at a lower price point if at all possible. And so we do not like the $900. We feel like that puts it out of reach for a lot of potential consumers. And so it does fall under the list of negatives for this unit. Now, another thing that we don't like about the unit is its poor energy efficiency. Now, here it must be said that, remember, there are three very thick, very substantial filters involved here. Uh, so all that air has to be pulled into the unit has to be pushed past all three of those filters and it takes energy to do that. Uh, so at the end of the road here, when you get up top here to the diffuser and you have 300 CFM of output, at that point, you need to pull quite a substantial amount of air through three very thick filters. Still, it must be said that on maximum fan speed and that is at about 300 CFM, this unit draws over 200 watts of power. And now for comparison, top rated units draw about 250 CFM, so only about 50 CFM less and they do that by drawing about 60, 70 watts of power. So you have well under 100 watts of power draw for units at 250 CFM, top rated units, and this unit only outputting about 50 CFM more, it draws well over 200 watts of power. Uh, so energy efficiency is definitely not a strong point with this IQ Air air purifier. Finally, the last negative we will discuss here is the fact that this unit can get quite noisy on that maximum setting. Uh, on lower fan speeds, it does quite well in terms of noise output. However, if you do run it on that maximum fan speed, be aware that the unit does get very loud. It is in fact one of the loudest air purifiers we've tested on maximum fan speed. Uh, as you move up with fan speeds, the unit has a gradual curve in increased noise there. However, on that maximum setting specifically, it's almost like the unit hits an extra gear 
of noise output. And it really almost feels like it's struggling to really push all of that air through this top diffuser. It almost sounds like there's a different pitch of noise there. And the air is just really blowing out of there at a very high velocity uh, through these grates up top here. And it makes a substantial noise there. So be aware that on maximum fan speed, if you do want to run this unit at 300 CFM on maximum fan speed, the unit is quite loud there. So what is our bottom line recommendation when it comes to this unit? How would we compare it to other air purifiers on the market? And here things are a little bit difficult just because there are not that many other air purifiers at this price point. Uh, so we have to kind of be a little bit creative uh, to compare this unit to what you would consider a comparable unit. Uh, now, as we mentioned earlier, the one of the very strong positives here for this unit is its gas filtration. Uh, for unwanted gases, for VOCs, for odors, this unit does come equipped with that gas filter that contains five pounds of activated carbon and alumina. Uh, so another air purifier on the market that also does very well with gas filtration is the Austin HealthMate. And that is really the unit that we can use to best compare this unit to other units on the market. Now, the Austin HealthMate retails for about five, $600. So it is substantially less expensive than the IQ Air Health Pro Plus here. The HealthMate does output at a slightly lower rate. It outputs at about 250 CFM compared to the 300 CFM on the IQ Air. But the more important distinction to make here is the fact that the HealthMate, its gas filter, contains about three times more gas filtration media than this IQ Air. So with that Austin HealthMate, you're getting 15 pounds of activated carbon. And with that gas filter specifically, there is zeolite mixed in with the activated carbon. So with the Austin HealthMate, you're getting 15 pounds of activated carbon and zeolite compared to the five pounds of activated carbon and activated alumina with the IQ Air here. So there you're getting three times as much gas filtration media. And again, the price is much less on the Austin HealthMate. So what does that three times as much gas filtration media mean? It means that the Austin's filter is able to filter out unwanted gases, unwanted VOCs and things of that nature. It's able to filter out those unwanted gases three times faster than this IQ Air can. That filter on the Austin is also going to saturate three times more slowly than this IQ Air. Uh, in terms of gas filtration, how the filter does that is it actually bonds the carbon, the activated carbon in there and other compounds in the gas filtration media, they actually bond to the molecules that you want to remove from the air. So let's say there's formaldehyde or a chemical like that that you want to remove from the air. That formaldehyde has to bond to the gas filtration media for it to be removed from the air. And over time, that gas filtration media saturates. and when you have 15 pounds compared to five pounds of gas filtration media, that amount of media is going to saturate more slowly by a factor of three times compared to the gas filtration media in this IQ Air. So what is the bottom line here comparing the Austin Air to the IQ Air? In terms of gas filtration, the Austin Air does it much better. It has three times the gas filtration media. And so the IQ Air's greatest asset, that gas filter in there, is outdone by a, another filter in another air purifier that is much less expensive. And so if you are at all concerned about gas filtration, if you are especially concerned about gas filtration, our recommendation would be the Austin Air HealthMate over this IQ Air Health Pro Plus. Uh, in terms of particle filtration, both the Austin Air and the IQ Air have a very similar quantity of HEPA filtration there. They both have true HEPA filters. Uh, so for particle filtration, you really have a tie there between the two. If you are only looking for particle filtration, or if you're looking primarily for particle filtration, and here we're talking about things like allergens, dust, mold spores, things of that nature. If you're primarily looking for an air purifier for particle filtration, and you only want a little bit of gas filtration, then a top rated 250 CFM unit the units that we recommend as top rated units can be had for even less than the Austin. Here you're talking about 150 to $200. So again, gas filtration, you wanna look at the Austin Air for particle filtration with a little bit of gas filtration, you want to look at a top rated unit. We'll have links for all of those units, for all of those recommendations in the description to this video.